What's up guys? Welcome back for another one. Today's video is a product review on a pet carrier from the good folks at Kemimoto. Now Kemimoto was nice enough to send me this bag to test, review, and share my thoughts with you guys. So let's just jump right in and I'll show you what you get in the box. All right, so in the box, you get the pet carrier itself. You get a nice padded shoulder strap for when you want to carry this bag like a duffel. And you get several of these straps to secure the bag to your motorcycle. So let's talk about some of the features that this bag has. On one side, you get two pockets. The outer pocket is this nice mesh pocket with a little Velcro tab at the top to keep it in place. Right behind it, you get this zippered pouch, nice and large. And these are great pockets to put maybe the leash, water bowl, treats, uh, a water bottle, things like that. On the other side, you get this dog window and when the first zipper comes down, this flap comes down, and this flap can be rolled up and kept in place by this handy Velcro strap. And behind that is you have this nice mesh window to allow ventilation and light into the bag and allow your pet to see outside. Maybe they feel better when they can do that. Also, you can unzip the mesh window itself, and if you needed to, you can access your pet directly. Moving to the other side, you have this large panel here, the whole side. This is a great way to get your pet in and out because when you unzip this, the entire flap comes down, easy in, easy out. Inside, you'll find a removable pad here. If your dog has an accident, throws up or whatever, easy to clean, easy to remove. This is the part I like here. On this side is another large panel. And if you zip this down, this thing comes out and it's like having a little patio in this bag here where your dog has the most room to come out, look all around, plenty of ventilation, things like that. This is kind of how I do it in the car so my dog can see me and I can see my dog. He seems to do a little better with that. So that's really convenient and really you just fold it back into the zipper. And it zips right up. Outside of that is another large panel, just like on the other side, where you can zip this down, access your pet. You can actually collapse this bag all the way if you wanted to, if you needed to put it away for storage. But again, a nice, easy way to get your pet in and out or just access your pet. You have this little strap here. You hook this onto your dog's collar and it's just an extra security measure here. Going up top, the same premise. First flap opens up, you can roll this back and using this Velcro strap, keep it there. And again, you have a nice mesh window here that you can unzip and zip. If you're comfortable with your dog sticking his head out or your cat, you can do that. Also again, more ventilation, more places for them to see. They might be more comfortable that way. They might not, depends on your pet. But a lot of nice features, a lot of ventilation. And I can tell you, one of the things I like most about these bags is that to me, it's more than just a pet carrier for your motorcycle. I use this to take my dog to the doctor. I use this to take my dog traveling with me in my truck. And it's just a real convenient way to keep your pet secure anywhere you go. So with that, with all these straps, there's a variety of different ways you can strap it to your motorcycle. And that's all predicated on how your motorcycle is set up. If you have a tour pack rack, you can put this on top of the rack. I have the chop tour pack rack on my tour pack. So that's not where I'll be placing this. It just doesn't feel like a secure area. For me personally, this is just gonna go right behind me and I'm gonna use these straps and strap it down the way it works best for me. So I don't necessarily think there's a right way or wrong way to strap it down to your bike because we all have different bikes with different setups, but do what's best for you. They certainly give you plenty of straps and things like that to accommodate whatever kind of bike or setup you have to secure your pet to your motorcycle. 
So let's go over to the bike. I'll show you how I secure this down and then we'll take the dog for a ride. All right, so I've got these straps coming off the backrest. I've got these things crisscrossing around and in on the backrest. And I've got these straps uh, wrapped around the crash bar on both sides here. Plenty of options, all that's left. Let's put old boy in here and see how he does. So you know they don't advertise it for this use but i've been using it like this so do so at your own pearl but if you're interested i've got the two clips wrapped around the bottom part of the seat belt here and here to secure the bag here and then i took those black straps and actually linked them together went around the back of the seat and all the way up here just for some extra support like I said, I, I keep this down so he can see as much as possible. He likes his head out and stuff, so there you have it. All right, guys, that's all we got for today. Like I said, you got plenty of strap options. This bag is pretty convenient, not just for on the bike, for other reasons as well. Uh, if you got a small dog like this and you take him out consistently enough, pretty sure you guys will have a good time together. Anyway, stay safe out there, and I'll catch you on the next one. All right, you ready to be done?